What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we activated the Sheikah Tower for this part of Hyrule and also followed Prince Sidon here to Zora's Domain. Apparently something bad is going on and they need the help from a strong Hylian so we agreed to lend a hand. But before we go and talk to the king and the prince, there is a shrine right over here in the heart of Zora's Domain so I figured we might as well tackle this real quick before we do anything else. This will also give us a quick travel location so we can very easily travel back here to Zoro's Domain anytime we like, which makes this really convenient for us. Now, uh, this shrine shouldn't take us too long anyways. It is one of the puzzle shrines, but, um, it also has, like, a number of different solutions, so you can feel free to experiment with this one and have a little bit of fun. I'll show you guys the way that I like to solve it, but, uh, there's probably more, like, interesting and creative solutions to get through this one. Uh, rather than just the way that I'm going to do it. So, let's see what we got here. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am blah blah blah. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. So this is the Pushing Power Shrine. Here's what we got going on, a bunch of boulders just falling down constantly from above, and uh, this entire thing is made out of water, so yeah, you can use Cryonis to freeze your way to the top, if you will. I actually want to block this laser real quick, and then, um, a good idea would be to place another block here, because then, whoa, watch out for that boulder. Uh, yeah, you can sort of like start to block these boulders from falling all the way down, which might be handy in just a second. For now, Let's open up this chest and see what's inside. It's a Zora Spear. Hmm. Oh, of course my inventory is full. All right, let's see. Um, you know, I really don't want to get rid of anything, but I guess I'll drop this boomerang for now just so we can get the spear. Although in the future, I may start ignoring some of these chests in the shrines because if they contain weapons that I don't really want, there's like no point in picking them up. Um, all right, so I think once we go all the way to the top, these normal stone boulders should stop falling down, but obviously the one thing you do want is this glowing boulder, so um, let's actually make a nice pillar behind it, that way we can push it forward and start pushing this very slowly down to the bottom because that's where the switch is located, but we don't want it to go too far because if it falls off, well, it's not really going to be much use to us down there, and actually, will that get stuck? Hey, that worked out perfectly. All right. Um, and, oh man, my ice block, like, blocking that laser disappeared. Um, all right, so I guess here's what I can do then. If I break this block, the boulders should start falling down. Um, so a good idea would probably be to, like, place another block right over here. That way it hopefully stops some of them. Oh, they got stuck. Well, isn't that just great? So, um... Hopefully I can unstick them using, like, my remote bombs. Otherwise, we might have a problem here. Oh, no! Oh, man, I hit the wrong button. That boomerang is totally gone. Man, that was a good boomerang, too. I'm actually kind of mad, not gonna lie. Ah, that stinks. I do that so often, too. Like, I need to stop pressing the wrong triggers, man. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Okay, so at least the boulders are moving. That's good. Oh, you know what? I probably should have thought about this a little bit more. Uh, let me grab stasis real quick because I want to make sure that boulder does not roll off. All right, there we go. That ice block worked out perfectly, actually. Holy crud. That makes this a whole heck of a lot easier now. Uh, so now we can just break this and uh, quickly swap back to stasis. Freeze you in place. And yes, the switch that this boulder belongs to is directly in front of us, so let's just bash this forward a little bit, and uh, hopefully it doesn't, like, bounce off that back wall and fall into the pit. Come on! Yes, thank you. That wasn't exactly how I was intending to solve this shrine, but like I said, this is one of those things that you can sort of just, like, go into and wing it and hope for the best, so thankfully it sort of worked out for us. We just have to, like, push this along, though, and get it into that little switch. I guess we can play a little bit of a uh, Zelda golf here and try and knock it in with our hammer. Come on, man, work with me. Just go right into that switch. You know you want to. Yeah, there we go. Let me give it a shove real quick. And ta-da, just like that, we are done. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but um, I really like this shrine. One of my favorites for sure. Now that we're done though, let's grab our spirit orb and be on our way. Speaking of spirit orbs, I believe at this point we now have like, what, nine of them on our body, so... Yeah, we should probably trade those in for some heart containers, and thankfully, there is a goddess statue here in Zora's Domain, so we can do just that. And I will be getting heart containers since we're about to take on the very first temple of this game. Basically, this entire episode is going to be dedicated to prepping for that temple. Um, having the extra hearts will definitely help us out because... The bosses of these temples are pretty unforgiving early on in the game, so having that extra health will give us a huge advantage. Alright, so let's grab one of these flowers real quick, just so you know we have it on hand, and then, um, let's make our way up to like the second level of Zora's Domain. And along the way, you can feel free to take in the scenery. It's raining right now, so you really can't see the entire, like, grand beauty that is Zora's Domain, but uh, it still looks really, really nice, man. I wouldn't say it's my favorite Zora's Domain design, but uh, it's up there, man. It's up there. Anyways, here is the goddess statue that I was talking about, so let's quickly pray to this statue and uh, get two more heart containers. You know, we've worked really hard for all these heart containers, like grinding out shrine after shrine after shrine. And there's sort of a reason why I've been putting an emphasis on, like, completing so many shrines. And I do still want to complete more of them. Like, obviously, we will get to all of them at some point. But, um, I kind of want to do a certain amount before, um, each and every main temple, if you will. That's sort of, like, my goal right now. And we're a little bit under that, but I think that's fine. Like, we spent too much time on shrines as it is, so I'm okay with, like, taking on the next temple right away without, like meeting my goal just yet. Now, before we talk to the king, I'm pretty sure right up here, we can get ourselves some free items. Yeah, there's a sword and a shield, so let's pick up this. Zora sword, not too bad, and a silver shield. Um, oh, you know what? Hang on, let me take a look. What can I dump here? I guess I can dump the traveler shield. I kind of like it, but you know what? This shield is way better. You do actually want to keep one non-metallic shield and weapon with you at all times, because if it does start, like, thundering and lightning, you need to be able to swap to those weapons. That way you don't get struck by lightning. Anyways, let's go up here and talk to the king. Ah, uh, you must be the Hylian that Sadan brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorfan, ruler of the Zora. Hmm, the object upon your waist. Is that not a Sheikah slate? Hmm. Now that I've gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian champion, Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean THE Link, THAT Champion! So that's where I've heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The Hylian Champion Link has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, uh, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I have heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary! Yeah, but I kinda lost my memory. Come again? You say you have lost your memory? But surely you must remember my precious daughter Mifa, yes? You do, do you not? Ah, uh, sorry, can't say that I do actually. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mifa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. 
I dearly hope so. Oh. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. Mm. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Mm. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zoro's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. I shall do the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Mm. Will you lend us your strength? <laughs> what? King Dorfin, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help? Why, the very thought of it curls my fins! Mm -hmm. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Uh. Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He's the key to saving Zoro's domain, I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zoro's domain... Nay, perhaps all of Hyrule is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. <laughs> Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that's not the least of it. It is their fault that Lady Mifa was lost to us. Link. Divine Beast Varuda has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and error is one, so you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. Their Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Hmm, the Divine Beast is crying out once again. The Divine Beast Varuda. Your Princess Zelda often studied the Divine Beasts, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruda's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. Those orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Sagan, who is quite shock-resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. 
<laughs> that is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but... We need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. Sounds good to me. What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to bore the divine beast and appease it from within. So then, Princess Zelda is still alive. Ah, uh, yeah, actually. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered. It is true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. Huh. I did not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. Huh. Wondrous. Naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link. Let us appease Ruta together. Alright, let's do it, man. <laughs> Thank you, Link, truly. We are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. And check it out. We got some Zora armor. Nice. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please take good care of it. King Dorfin! Surely you do not really intend to give this outsider the Zora armor. Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mipha made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. He may be a champion, but Mipha had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? This is just too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Mm. That Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter Mipha. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Hmm, but what shall we do now? I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows we will need to appease Varuda. But now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Sidon, I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Alright, well I suppose I could do that then, although not sure what I could say to him. Seems like he doesn't even want to see me, let alone talk to me, but whatever. I'll do what I can, so yeah, right down here, Sidon and Mizu are sort of hashing it out. Let's talk to him. Hmm. You came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Listen well, Muzu. There is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mipha had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. What? No! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie, not this Zora! How could Lady Mipha possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear, he remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mipha's statue. It is the truth, Muzu, though you never knew it, he was ever in Mipha's heart.
I was thinking. This reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. What is the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm, you are quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter, I remember! What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There is no way you remembered her just now when it is most convenient. In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so and and I I shall tell you how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Alright, well the proof that he wants is actually the Zora armor that we just got. So let's equip that and uh, talk to them one more time. Hmm. Muzu, look closely at the clothes Link is wearing. Hmm. You really think changing your clothes is going to make me... Eh? What in a... That is the Zora armor from before! Lady Mipha made that by hand, and yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to, and who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mipha made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mipha never told you. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you've already figured it out. Hmm... I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. Uh. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. I am a proud Zora, that means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior towards you. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. That tall mountain over yonder, it is called Polymus Mountain, and there you will also find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beast shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to Azora. Ha! Ah! You must mean that Lionel! He is a man-beast, that one! That beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. He is vicious to be sure, but I am certain Link will rise to the challenge. 
In order to appease the Divine Beast, I estimate that you will need, hmm, at least 20 shock arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? Why do you still doubt him, Muzu? I have no doubt he will be triumphant. Okay, Link, let's get moving. The fastest way to Polymus Mountain is to ascend the waterfall east of the domain. That Zora armor should come in handy. Just swim to the waterfall's basin, and then go up the waterfall from there. I will wait at the East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. Gather at least 20 shock arrows, and then come join me. Alright, I'm on it. Wonderful! Together we shall stop that Divine Beast onslaught. And Sidon is still the coolest character in this entire freaking game, man. Alright, so we have to go and find 20 shock arrows, which is quite the task, not going to lie. But we can actually sort of get a head start right over here. One of the Zoras is messing with one, so let's just go and grab it real quick. And ta-da! Only 19 left to get now. Hooray! Hey! Who did it? Who stole my shock arrow? Wasn't me. <laughs> you! You're Link! Finally, I can avenge Lady Mifa! It has been a hundred years since you last showed your face here. Now I, Sagan, will cut you down myself. Yo, what the heck are you talking about, man? Plain dumb, man. Nice try, but you cannot fool me, Champion Link. You were unable to protect Lady Mifa from Calamity Ganon. It has been a hundred years since we lost her. Poor Lady Mifa, how heartbreaking. Dude, don't worry, I won't fail her again. Ha ha, of course! Because you stole my shock arrow, that's why! In that case, you take the responsibility of appeasing the Divine Beast, Varuda. Humph! Well, 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 don't mind if I do then. Alright, so, let's go and get the rest of those shock arrows that we need. Thankfully, with this Zora armor getting all the way to the top of that mountain, will literally be a piece of cake. Like, I love the Zora armor just for this one ability alone. Like, it does make you swim faster as well, but um, being able to ascend waterfalls just makes getting around so much easier. Just, like, go right to it, swim right up, and boom, you're good to go. No climbing required. Even if it's raining like this, you can still ascend really large slopes, assuming that there is, of course, a waterfall falling off it. Now, I will say this, though. Um... Generally speaking, for me, I tend to swap off of the Zora armor a lot just because I never bothered to upgrade it on my personal playthrough. So I have no idea like how strong it can actually get. So really, unless like I'm swimming or I plan of going a waterfall like this, I probably won't use it all that often just because one, I like other armors a lot more than the Zora armor, and um, it's just generally speaking not as useful as some of the other stuff. Alright, so let's swim up this second waterfall, and yeah, once you get to like the very, very top, it uh, launches you up a little bit further, allowing you to use your paraglider, and uh, sort of extend how far you can reach by going up a waterfall, which is really cool. And obviously it makes this climb a whole lot faster, which I do appreciate. So here's the thing with these shock arrows, right? From that conversation with Sidon, you might think, oh, I have to go up here and uh, kill that enemy, right? That's not the case, and I would argue that, um... Killing him right now in our current state is almost impossible because he's a very large, very quick enemy with a lot of HP and a weapon that I'm fairly certain would one-shot us at this particular moment. So, yeah, would not be in our best interest to fight him. And that's sort of what I mean when I say don't do anything stupid in this game. Pick and choose your battles. Like, obviously fighting something that big would not go well for us. So... If you do want to fight him, come back a little bit later when you're a little stronger, and then maybe try it out. But still, even then, you probably will die a couple of times. Instead, we're going to play it a little more safely, and uh, try and sneak around and just collect the arrows that are attached to these trees and rocks in this area. And for the most part, we shouldn't even need to get close to him to get the 20 arrows that we require. So, let me just try and grab this one real quick. Actually, I think it does start a cutscene. Yeah, it wants to get close here. So there's the enemy. He's looking uh, pretty dang large. Look at those battle axes. Look at that shield. Like, yeah, you do not want to mess with this guy. And whoa, man. Good thing we were hiding behind that rock. He's already coming towards us. So, um, 
basically my strategy is to just always be crouching any time you're nearby him. He does actually have a pretty large radius in which he can hear you. If you ever see a question mark appear above his face, run the heck away as fast as you can because he will start walking towards you if he sees you. Uh, depending on like how far away he is, he might even charge up like his bow and start shooting shock arrows, which will probably hit you because this guy's accuracy is off the charts. Let me just tell you that. Um, okay, let me sneak in just a little bit and grab all of these arrows. This is probably the closest we will get to him just because the rest can easily be acquired on the outskirts. You really only need to go in and get maybe one or two arrows like that and you should be fine. Um, there is another one on this tree, so if I could please climb that, there we go. Um, how come I can't grab that? What the heck, that's really weird. Like, I was on top of it, I should be able to pick it up. Come on, Link. There we go. Alright, that was odd. Not sure why that was giving me an issue, but whatever. Here's another shock arrow and a lizard, apparently. And, oh, there he is. He's getting pretty close now, so... Let's be a little bit careful over here. And, um... Try and sneak around. We should be fine for the most part. Uh-oh. Wait. No, we're good. Oh, no. No, we're not. We're not good. Question mark time. Oh, he's looking for us now. Um... Crud, 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 crud! Let's head over here, and uh, I think I can, like, jump down. Yeah, okay. We should be safe down here. There's a shrine in the background. Not going to bother going towards that right now. I'll deal with that later. No. Hello, buddy. How you doing? You want to go the other way? That'd be great. Yeah, there you go. See, that's much better. All right, that was very, very close. Let's try and uh, be a little stealthier this time. I actually have no idea where you went, so I'm a little bit worried. Um, I think... Oh, okay, there he is. Alright, whatever. You just stay over there, Pally. Alright, don't you look this way. Don't notice me. I just want to go and find more shock arrows. Um, yeah, we should be far enough away now that we're fine. Anyways, though, let's go right back to finding those arrows. I think we're actually pretty close to 20, so... Uh, the rest of them... We should be able to pick up near like this mountainous region, which is pretty much like the safest area to be in because generally speaking, you'll be far enough away that like the dude won't notice you. So you're free to like pick up as many arrows as you can. Let me just grab that one real quick. And um, we're probably pretty close to 20 now, but then again, the more the merrier. Like these will still help out in the temple itself and even against the boss. So yeah, we have 17. Uh, I think there's a couple down here on this tree. Yeah, there's like two of them, so that brings us up to 19. Not too bad, only one more. And then we can uh, be on our way here. So, uh-oh, he noticed me. All right, we're going to get out of here then. So, I know there's like a tree all the way on the top of this mountain that has like four or so arrows attached to it. So, you know what? I'll take those. We'll have slightly over 20. That is good enough for me. As long as I don't have to, like, deal with that guy any longer, I am fine. And, um, you might even recognize this area from one of the trailers. Let me grab all these arrows real quick. And, hey, here's a weird-looking sign. I wonder what this says. Jump at your own risk. Well, hmm, what's this? A shot that was from the trailer that I analyzed a while back on the channel. Wow. It's even like that area that I said that wasn't Zora's Domain. Looks like I was wrong. Yeah, I was like dead wrong because obviously this is part of Zora's Domain. But now we can easily just like glide right down here. Prince Sidon is waiting for us on the dock. We could talk to him and go directly to the first temple. But before we do that, I'm pretty sure uh, somewhere around here actually. Uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, I was looking for it. It's a chest because this chest in particular contains a very good item. This is a night shield. One of the better shields that you can get. And really, of course, my inventory is full. Um, Alright, I guess I can drop the reinforced shield. Really don't need that one. I mean, I like it, but this shield is, like, way better. So, I'm happy that I got this one. I still need, like, um, a non-metallic shield. So, I guess I'm fine with what I got. Alright, now... We're pretty much ready to go. We could talk to Prince Sidon, but I think 
that's where I'm going to end off this video. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.